Nova here from GetPharmacyAdvice.com. I thought I'd use this video to respond to an email that I recently received from a 16-year-old girl. She's been having cramps and she said her sister keeps telling her to use Midol and she wanted to know why and if it works. Um, so I thought I'd go over quickly. Midol and Pamperin are two very similar products on the market, um, for usually for women who are menstruating and having cramps, that kind of thing. Um, and I think Midol is the one in blue and Pampers one in pink, but I get those mixed up. Uh, but both of them have di four different formulations, so I thought I'd just go over quickly what each one does. Um, Midol Complete is like the mainstay of Midol. It has three ingredients, Tylenol, which is acetaminophen, caffeine, and pyrilamine. So just to go over quickly why that would work for you know, when you're having your period. Um, the Tylenol is clearly a pain reliever. Um, caffeine, that helps in a couple or a few ways actually. It helps boost up your energy, which a lot of times, you know, you just like feel sluggish when you're having your period. Um, it also helps the Tylenol get into the brain better, so it helps if any, if any kind of like headache that a lot of women have while they're having their period. And um, it also works as a diuretic, so it helps you kind of just pee off all of those extra, um, you know, bloatedness. And then the pyrilamine, that's the last one. That one has, um, that one's an antihistamine. So actually it works as a diuretic. And it also, so it helps pee all that stuff out, but it also works as an antihistamine. So it gets into the brain and it can cause you to chill out a little bit because, you know, you can be very irritable too. I'm sure people tell you. Um, <laughs> but it'll help you chill out. The negative of this is actually it can cause a lot of drowsiness. So there's very little in there. So usually it'll help chill people out but not cause drowsiness. But if you're very sensitive to that, then, um, then this can put you to sleep and it'll make you feel tired. So there you have it. It's those three ingredients. Um, the extended relief, that's funny because it's Midol Extended Relief. And Pamperin, it's called All Day. Both of those are just naproxen, which is exactly the same thing as Aleve. Or you can get the generic and it's much cheaper than Aleve, Midol, or Pamperin. And it's just called naproxen. Um, and that's a pain reliever, straightforward. It's a strong pain reliever. And then there's Midol Teen. That has Tylenol and Pamabram in it. Um, Tylenol, once again, pain reliever. reliever. Pamabram is Diurex is the brand name of that, and that's a diuretic. So I think pretty much what they took out of there is the, um, is the caffeine. <laughs> and then there's Midol PM, which is just a side note. Um, anything out there pretty much with PM, if you flip it over, it's going to be a pain reliever. And diphenhydramine, which is Benadryl. That's it. That is the biggest thing when you flip over the boxes. Anything that says PM has diphenhydramine in it 99.9% I mean, .9 of the time. So if you want to save some bucks, what they're telling you to do is take Benadryl. <laughs> so just, yeah, the PM, don't fall for it. Something special, just Benadryl is mixed in there. Um, so moving on to Pamperin. Um, Pamperin Max has Tylenol, Aspirin, and Caffeine. So Tylenol pain reliever. Aspirin, also pain reliever, it works a little bit differently and you can take them together. And the caffeine works as, like I said, diuretic, it boosts your energy and it really helps the aspirin get into um, your brain. So if you're having headaches and that kind of thing, it'll help quite a bit. Um, all day pamperin is naproxen and pamperin cramp is Tylenol, Pamabram, and magnesium salicylate. So I feel like quite often they just run out of things to make. So there's put a new name on it. <laughs> um, Tylenol is for pain, Pamabram is a diuretic, so it's Diurex, and magnesium salicylate is very similar to aspirin. So this is pretty much like Pamperin Max, but without the caffeine. I know, I'm getting confusing. I'm almost done. And then there's Pamperin Multi-Symptom, and that one has Tylenol, Pamabram, and Pyrilamine. So... <laughs> So if you think about all of these, these are all just a mixture of like four medications, just in different mixtures. So Tylenol, pain reliever, Pamabram, diuretic, and pyrilamine is the antihistamine that can cause you to be tired, but it can also chill you out and help you diuresis, so get rid of all that extra fluid on you. Um, so overall, that's the biggest thing. It's really not that big of, I mean, I, I personally think the best thing for cramps and when people ask me, I tell them Motrin, um, Advil, uh, ibuprofen, all the same drug. Get generic ibuprofen, it works the best, and you can add a little bit of caffeine, coffee, it's fine. Um, that'll help with your diuresis, and the cramps are um, caused by, not to go into too much detail, but by, caused by prostaglandins. So prostaglandins get in there, and they help like cramp up, and, and you're having your period. And that's the cramping is typically caused by the prostaglandins. So 
conveniently enough, ibuprofen is an anti-prostaglandin. So it goes in there and takes away all the prostaglandin, so it takes away the cramps. So not only does it work as a pain reliever like Tylenol would, but it actually decreases the actual cramps. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. And if you have any questions, just holler at me. Um, but yeah, I hope that answered your question, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.